Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So from this particular video, let's create a Munchtag uh, web application. We'll see what is Munchtag and uh, how we can uh, use Node.js, Express.js uh, with the React.js for the front end. And we can just use the database that is a MongoDB for the putting the particular data into the database. And we'll see how the Express.js as well as the Node.js uh, can be connected with the React.js. So if I tell you what is Munchtag, so Munchtag is something like M E R N, right? So for M stand for MongoDB, E stand for uh, E stand for Express, R stand for React JS, N stand for Node JS. Okay, so all together the name is being used as a Munchtag. So you can see here how to use a Munchtag. A complete guide they have been given inside the MongoDB.com languages. That is a Munchtag tutorial. So here. You can see what is Munchtag. So Munchtag is something like it is a development framework made up of the stack of the MongoDB, Express, React, as well as Node.js. I said like all together, all four together is been used to create a Munchtag web application. So how the Munchtag works means for the front end. For the front end, we'll be using React.js. So in this complete playlist, we have been seen how the React.js can be like a, we have we know how to create a one small website using React.js. So we have been seen like uh, how we can create, how to install the particular, uh, how to create a re create re re sorry React JS application, and uh, we have been so how how to install the particular packages, modules, all those things we have been seen inside my tutorials. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. So if I just show you uh, the particular channel here, so we'll just show you the particular playlist. So you can see the entire playlist is been here. So the link will be the mentioned inside the description below. So you can see all the React JS we have been seen how to install and we have seen props with states as well as uh, we have created one or two applications over here and we have just seen uh, how to create a complete React JS web application and we have been seen how to fetch the particular API keys. But here we have been used what? So here we have been used some of the JSON data that we have been loaded inside our website. But from this particular video, we are going to with the Munchtag web application. So here we will be creating our own web application that is our own API keys and here we will be say creating our own React.js server, Express.js servers and we will be connected with the Node.js for the HTTP request uh, things and here the data will be stored inside the database that is a MongoDB. Okay, so here they have been uh, set a number of stuff. When you use Munchtag, you want to React implement presentation layer. So you can see the React will be as a act like as a presentation layer. Express and Node to be make up for the middle layer as a, like application, and the MongoDB is used to create a database layer. So here we have a presentation layer as well as a middle application layer as well as a database layer, uh, which is included inside our Munchtag. So how we can just stand uh, go ahead with the Munchtag here is. We need to install the node here so that we need to install the node of the current version so just go with this uh, link that is a node.js that over link slash en slash download just install whichever we have mac or windows just uh, install for the particular your uh, laptop or a system so just click on to here it will just uh, get downloaded and you are very good familiar with uh, downloading a number of softwares all those things so you can just uh, download the particular node.js with this particular uh, download stuff so then what they have said have to have a code editor so obviously we have been using a vs code editor so here we have been using a vs code editor so we'll be creating our code we'll be creating our front end folder as well as our back end folder and we'll be uh, writing all the code and we'll be doing all those things so you can see they have been said we want to set up a server so we need to use create a react application all those things they have been said so if you want to initiate create a munch type web application you need to just tell npm in it so it will initialize the particular stuff so here a number of stuff they have been given so they can see they have been given in the documentation also that we will be using express as well as a cors for the policy like our to give the particular uh, what you can say uh, the particular uh, access to access the particular uh, thing inside our client application then uh, here we have the, all the things we have mentioned everything will be saying like how to connect with the database everything will be using the same code but will be using little bit different uh, file structure all those things so all those things have been given over here okay so that means now what we need to do here is so this is the uh, react uh, mongodb application you can see you can you can go ahead with this uh, entire documentation so you can see they have been said they have this said as how to create a particular uh, one particular record how to create insert the insert operation they have been shown inside our mongodb in the munchtag uh, page okay so here we have downloaded the node.js so now we need to have a database right so to store the data we'll be using a mongodb to create to store the data inside the mongodb we need to download an mongodb compass okay 
So just download the MongoDB Compass. It will look something like this. So this is a MongoDB Compass. So this is the logo of it. It looks something like this, the MongoDB. So we have, I have already installed. You can just click onto the here, uh, just click onto the download and just uh, install it inside your laptop. Okay, the latest version. So the two things you need to do it. So the one is what? One you need to install Node.js and as well as the MongoDB, as well as the code editor already we have been downloaded. So this is all the pre-requirement for the go ahead with the Munchtack web application. So then we have to just access the particular playlist from my channel so like uh, you'll be having a basic uh, ethic knowledge on the react chess how it works so now i'll be showing you the demo of the project so this is the demo of the project so we'll be seeing what exactly we are going to uh, deal with it so why we are going with the munchstack application we have a full stack right we have a number of full stack we have, but we are going with the munchstack because uh, it's having some of the like a particular uh, documentation is something like we can just uh, one important uh, point I can just say you here is we can reduce the bandwidth from the client to server uh, require like request. So we can reduce the bandwidth means we'll be reducing the particular uh, traffic and we'll be reducing indirectly we'll be reducing we'll be saving our money as well as the particular web applications of the month stack will be very fast and it is scalable and it has uh, security all those things we can just see the all applications of the month stack. So we are having so and it is uh, reliably it is very fast. So this is the project so which we are going to build right now using a Munchstack web application. So once this particular project is done, I'll be showing you how to create a e-commerce website also. Like entire e-commerce site will be doing it. So before going ahead with the e-commerce website, creating an e-commerce website using a Munchstack, we'll be uh, creating one small uh, to-do list. So where we can add the particular to-do, edit operation, delete operation, read operation, as well as the authentication system. So these are all the things we'll be seeing it over here. So you can see here, uh, if I just say, let's log out from here. I'll just click onto the home page now. So now what I will do here is, uh, here we have got the Munchstack web application. So what are the operations we are doing here? So in this web application, we can do the sign up, we can do the login, as well as we can just add the particular to do, edit, read operations, and we can show the alert buttons, all those things we can just show it over here. So I'll just come back to the sign up. So I'll just show you one demo. So if I want to just uh, show and demo, I'll just give the full name. So here is the full name. I'll just give it as Harshit. <coughs> or else I'll just give it as a Megana. So Megana is a full name. I'll just tell Mojana G O P E L Gopal. Okay. So here I'll just give her email address. So I'll just give it as M H G H A N A at the rate gmail.com. And I'll just give the password here. I'll just give the wrong password first. If I just give the wrong password, you can just see. I'm just getting an error here. Please lengthen to this type 5 character or more. So, because we have been added the validations in the input box also, if I just give it as sign up, you can say I'm getting as a password incorrect. That means the password should get matched. So, now I'll just give the perfect password. So, even if the user is already present, it is not going to do the sign up over here. So, I'll just tell ARK123. So, here also let's tell ARK123. So, this is the password which I have been given. So, if I just click on to the sign up, you can see sign up is success now i can just log in with the particular credentials so i'll just log in with the credential uh, of it so i'll just tell megana at gmail.com so here i'll just give the wrong password i'll just give the wrong password if i click on to the login you can see invalid credentials okay so this is all the validations we have been added so if i just tell ark123 if i just log in so you can see i'm getting as a login success so here you see each and every users can maintain their particular uh, to do so like uh, one particular person cannot see the what all the to-do of another person so it is completely encrypted but like we have added to the 100% security with this application so here you can see v1 you can just log out from here so we have added the css you can see here the nav one we have been added the particular css and animations with our nav one so when it looks something like this inside in the mobile view it looks something beautiful you can see it is very beautiful right so you can see it looks something like this inside our mobile so which is amazing so now let's uh, you can see it is just telling no to do uh, to display it is just giving like this so now if i just add to add the particular to do now i'll just tell django framework if i just tell django framework i it is my to do task so i'll just tell i have to complete this something i'll just tell i have to complete this okay so if i just click on to the add to do you can see to do has been added so you can see it is completed not yet completed so it is not in the chat so now even if i just add one more so i'll just tell flask so let's tell cash to be done okay something i'll just click onto that again i'll just add one more if i just tell node.js i have to complete it so you can see all the things has been getting added so all the n number of stuff has been getting added if i want to add the munch stack so let's tell i have to 
complete complete okay so i'll just tell i have to complete it something i'm just adding some of my to do so these are all my tasks which i have to complete so i have just created one particular to do over here so if i just see i have been added all the details if i just show you in the database so here you can see if i just tell uh, youtube man so here if i just say where it is if i just click on to here or here. so you can see this all the to do's has been added here you can see in the youtube month we have the to do's so here you see all the to do's has been there you can see node.js flask one stack as well as a django framework so here we have the user id title as well as a task is complete it is not false so you can see default it has been used as a follower is it is not completed and automatic date has been taken so even if i just see, show you the users so you can see a number of users we have we have uh this and we have uh, anis and we have uh, on more anika we have uh, harshit and we have added the latest one that is megana so harshit is already present and megana we have added the current uh, user for it you can see the password is also been encrypted even i cannot see what is the current password of it and all the stuff has been there and uh, this is all the password is also encrypted so we can see all the data inside our database too now coming back to here now i can just edit the particular operations also if i just click on to this you can see it has been month stack i'll just tell month stack course so if i want to edit month stack course i want to i have to complete this if i just update the particular to do you can see i have to complete this month stack course has been added and even you can show if i just show you inside the to do's so even you can see all the data has been updated over here so everything it is been fetching from it now if i want to just make it is added it is as a complete i'll just set it yes i have completed this thing i want to just update it you can see it has been completed or it has been it has been set it to yes it has been true so i have been done now if i want to just i have i wanted to delete this particular node as i want to delete it the flask i'll just click on to this you can see to do has been deleted so all the things has been done and all the operations has been where it is also been uh, coming it is just interacted with the mongodb and it is uh, interacted with the node.js as well as express then all the things has been getting updated so this is a very small project so if you want to have the, i can just go from the about page we can just create it our about page here and even we can work on with the contact pages all those things i just click on to here it has been going redirecting me to the home page and you can see welcome megana gopal it is just uh, showing for the user so entire this entire end-to-end -end project we have been uh, added with a single type of uh, coding like we have not used any of the uh, like uh, inbuilt functions like we have created our own api keys and uh, we have created our own urls for it and we have just we will be testing everything inside our website here we will be having a thunder client so i'll say what is thunder client you can see all the things i can just i can just do the testing over here if i just click on to the send request you can see the response has been getting if i want to just log in with the users if i just click on to this send request you can see i'm getting an auth token as well as a success name as well as everything i'm just getting it Let's see one by one how we can go ahead with all the stuffs. So this is the demo of our project. So I hope you like this entire project, like which is going to work. So now in the from my next video, I'll be uh, I will be just adding. I will be starting this particular project. We'll be seeing how we can uh, create end to end project same as it is. And uh, that thing will be seen in my next video. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.